Employing approximately 325 employees in the United States and several hundred more in Mexico and Colombia, and managing over 1,300 fully integrated oil wells, the privately held Lewis Energy Group is unquestionably a leader in its field. Over the last 25 years, President and Chief Executive Officer of LEG, Rod Lewis, has climbed his way to the top of the international oil industry through simple hard work, dedication and focus. The rest, as they say, is history. Rodney R. Lewis was born in St. Louis, Missouri in the 1950s. His mother's family was from Laredo, however his father's job as a fighter pilot and instructor pilot in the U.S. Air Force kept the family, including Lewis and his three younger sisters, moving from place to place, all across the United States, and never staying in one place for more than a year or so. At a very young age, Lewis's family relocated to Laredo, Texas. However, their stint in Laredo didn't last long and the Lewis family was restationed once again. Every summer vacation, though, Lewis would return to Laredo to work on his grandparents' ranch. As a child, Lewis's interests were always centered on aviation. Growing up on an Air Force base was fun, and he fondly recalls playing with airplane parts and tools that the mechanics would leave lying around. Lewis inherited his father's passion for thrills, and as a young adult, he spent a lot of time flying and riding motorcycles with his dad as well. Cars were another hobby for Lewis, especially hot rods. He enjoyed taking the engines apart and then reassembling them, anything to make the cars go faster. In 1971, when Rod was a high school senior, he was uprooted from his Colorado high school to move back to Laredo and enroll at United High School. For the teenage Lewis, the move was difficult at best, but he managed to adapt quickly and graduated in 1972. Upon graduation, Lewis enrolled at Laredo Junior College, where he began working towards a degree in marine biology. Admittedly, biology was not his strongest subject, so he switched gears and began studying criminal justice. Initially, Lewis wanted to work for the FBI, but after earning his BA at Texas A&I in Laredo, he began working for the district attorney's office under the leadership of Charlie Borchers. During his brief stint at the DA's office, Lewis worked as an interviewer on domestic cases. So his first job uh, was at the Webb County District Attorney's Office at a time when I was the first assistant district attorney and all he has done from there has gone, gone to higher and higher levels. So we should be very proud because he exemplifies what America is all about. Uh, uh, Rod has, has never put it in reverse or in neutral, as you might say. Uh, he's always bettered himself, he's bettered his family, and he does everything for his family, for his employees, and for the community. And Rod has a, a particular sensitivity to, to the youth uh, of the community. He's, uh, he's truly a man ahead of his times. And uh, as much as I hated for him to leave the district attorney's office uh, when he worked for me as an assistant uh, investigator, it's the best thing he ever do, did. And Rod, I tip my hat to you. Congratulations. But Lewis had only begun his professional career and was still looking for the right fit. Meanwhile, his personal life was also changing. Lewis met Kim Spicer in 1977 when she was a student at Southwest Texas State University. The spark was instant, and after a brief courtship, the two married on May 27, 1978. The newlyweds started out living on the family ranch when a new opportunity came knocking. Stampede Energy was the first company that Lewis worked for as a gauger in 1978. With little to no experience in the oil and gas field, Lewis viewed it as an opportunity to train for a few months and eventually start gauging his own wells. After only one year at Stampede Energy, a friend invited Lewis to embark on a partnership in the diesel servicing business out of Bryan, Texas, back when the oil business was booming. Again, Lewis seized the opportunity to learn more about disassembling and rebuilding diesel engines, repairing transmissions, and running the parts department for this new venture. However, after only six months of living in Houston, Lewis and his wife Kim decided to instead move back to Encinal, Texas. It was 1979 and Lewis was now working for the R.L. Burns Corporation. Through 1982, he serviced the company's wells. It was during this time that he learned of a particular well that wasn't being serviced properly because of its awkward location. Lewis called the well's owner and offered to pay salvage value for the neglected well. They settled on a price of about $13,000. Using all his savings and with a little help from his dad, Lewis was now the proud owner of his own well. 
Due to the well's middle of nowhere location, he invested a lot of time and energy driving out to the well and maintaining it. But the 12 to 15 hour days proved to be a huge learning experience for Lewis. That same year, Lewis and his wife Kim welcomed twins Jessica and Nicole. Their family later grew to include Amanda and Ryan. Lewis credits his wife's understanding and loving nature for helping them manage their booming oil business while caring for their four children. That same whatever it takes attitude was the glue that held the family together over the next several years. Lewis Petro Properties grew to include several more wells, and with the financial backing from his parents, Lewis continued working hard to build the oil and gas empire that he runs today. We ventured on our first well together back in 86, and we joined in, and I joined in as a working interest partner with him. And I can remember sitting at the, at the mud shack, long hours of the night, watching the, the drilling results coming in, and we sat there patiently for probably a week or two. And the well finally came in, and we made a well. It was a successful well. Uh, by today's standards, it certainly was not a barn burner type well, but it was a successful well. And from that point, we started drilling together. And now it's been some, let's see, what are we, 24 years later, I've continued as a working interest partner with Rod. I've uh, really enjoyed the experience with him. I've learned a lot from him. He's uh, been a very hard worker his whole life. and. Uh, more importantly, our, our relationship has developed into, from a business relationship, it's more of a friendship now. One of our latest developments has been the development of the Eagleford field. This is a newly developed field in northern Webb County. And uh, because of Rod's extensive uh, horizontal drilling experience that he's developed over the last 10 years, we now find ourselves as a major participant in that area. And we, along with several major oil companies, are currently developing that field. Additionally, Lewis Energy Group was the first American company to produce natural gas in Mexico and Colombia and is advancing their operations there as well. The future looks bright for Lewis Energy Group with a projected growth of three to four times its current size. When this captain of industry has a moment to spare, his hobbies include spending time in the air and collecting World War II aircraft. Lewis also serves on the board of the National Aerospace Museum, where he assists in fundraising efforts to keep the institution going. Up on a ridge he rested as he went along his way. He brings uh, warbirds from all over the country. All his buddies come in and fly in and support him. A uh, real impressive show, very nice. The weather was great. Uh, you can look up on uh, magazines and the internet uh, of, of warbird uh, um, aficionados, and uh, he's right there in the top of the list. I met the individual from the Smithsonian, in, uh, Smithsonian uh, Museum, uh, who I guess Rod is on, a director of the aviation portion of the Smithsonian, which is a, quite an honor in itself. And uh, they were all very appreciative of what Rod's done for uh, military aircraft restoration and aviation. Traveling is another hobby Lewis enjoys with his family, going to exotic locations in Mexico and places such as Dubai and South Africa. But as with most aspects of his life, Lewis cares more about the journey than the destination. It is this positive outlook and willingness to work hard that have made him the professional, the family man, and the inspiration that he is today. Congratulations, Rod Lewis, laureate for the Junior Achievement Business Hall of Fame.